Hey guys, just a quick little uh, thing today. So I got this deodorant here, and unfortunately it got dropped on the way home and broke the cap right off of it. So I've just been using the little plastic insert that came with it to try and keep it, but you know, I have 3D printers and the cap was just made of plastic. So I jumped into Fusion 360, and what I ended up with was, well, this right here. As you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Not much to it, it's just pretty much a recreation of the cap. I just measured the uh, size of the actual top of the deodorant and, uh, you know, made a cap that should fit that with a little bit of extra and then uh, I uh, curved the edges around here uh, so that it'll be easier to put on and I curved the top of it just for aesthetics. So we'll send that to the CR10 and we will see how it turns out. Okay, just getting home from work. The print finished hours and hours and hours ago. It was only about a half an hour, 40 minute print, and uh, we're going to see if it worked or not. So, here we are at the CR10. Well, it certainly looks like it's the right shape, and it should just come off the bed easy. Now, I forgot to turn off... I forgot to turn off my uh, settings to create rafts, so it was on a raft anyways, but... No problem, came off. The question is, does it work? Well, only one way to find out. There's the culprit right there. And, ba 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 ba. First try. Look at that. It's a little tighter than I thought it was going to be. It required a little bit more force, but it should be fine. Um, I didn't go all fancy with it. You can see that the original cap had curves down the side, so it would have required a little more of an intricate shape, but not really necessary, so that should be just fine. My deodorant need no longer fear the elements.